action. Hi, I'm Isnu Kumoro and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about this phone. This is the L54 Optima from SPC. It's only $65 and it's fairly cheap phone. But is it good? For you who doesn't know about SPC. SPC Mobile is Indonesia's smartphone brand and sell budget phones in Indonesia. This is the L54 Optima, the newest phone from SPC. And now let's see the box first. Actually, this is a really nice box. It doesn't look cheap. You can see the main feature here is full view LCD. It's not using LED display, it's only using LCD display and yeah, I know what you think about it. It feels like 2008. You can also see the color options here and on the back you can see the specification. Quad core 1.3 GHz processor with 8 GB of ROM and 1 GB of RAM. There's a 5 inch full view screen, 4G data connection, USB on the go, 8 megapixel front camera, an 8 megapixel camera with autofocus and flash on the back. It also running Android Nougat 7.0, but it seems like you will not get Oreo update here, so yeah. What do you expect? And now let's see what's inside the box. This is the warranty card. Looks promising. You can see the location of care centers where you can claim for anything happens to your device. And I love the fact that this is the first thing you get when you open the box. Warranty card comes first before the product itself. And this is the phone. Surprisingly, it's small. Even for my Asian hand, it's small. Well, let's put it aside first. Let's see what's inside. We get the USB cable, 5W charger, manual guide, earphone with microphone here, and battery and jelly case. It's great to have free jelly case for this phone because it's gonna be really hard or you can say impossible to find case for this phone in the market right now. Let's try to turn it on. Open the back case to insert the battery here. The battery is quite okay. It's around 2100 mAh. I think it will score more than 9 or 10 hours to battery tests with benchmark app. Uh, maybe I will try to do it and update the result on my Instagram. So follow my Instagram for the updates. And you can also use two SIM cards in this phone with an extra micro SD card as your external storage. And let's put the battery on and start the engine. Well, maybe it takes a while, I think. A bit more. Please wait. Please wait. Finally, it's on. Well, it looks pretty nice. Android Stock 7.0 runs fast even in 1 gig of RAM device. That's cool. And now let's try the camera. The camera is not that bad, but not that good also. The color in the display is a bit off. It looks bluish, I think. But maybe for some people, it's still okay. Well, this phone has no fingerprint sensor, no face unlock, only 1 gig of RAM. It looks like a 2008 Samsung phone. It brings me back a lot of nostalgic moments right now. But finally, I found something cool about this phone. There's a double tap to wake feature here. It's pretty cool. All you have to do is double tap to unlock the phone. And now we are talking about the screen. It's the main feature here and I think it works well. The colors and brightness is decent, but the speaker is... Nah, I don't like it. In general, I think this phone is surprisingly good in odd way. I like the size, it fit well in my hand, but I'm not sure how much things you can do with 1GB of RAM. If you want to play mobile games or demanding application, I think you should buy faster and better phone than this. But as a $65 phone, this is a good phone. It's cheap. You can have it as your backup phone or you can give it to someone who never used smartphone before. This kind of people is still exists in 2018, especially in emerging countries like Indonesia or some parts of Asia and Africa. There's a still huge market for this kind of product. So for a $65 phone, I think it's a good phone. And that's SPC L54 Optima. What do you think about the phone? Please write your comments below. And this is my first full English video. I hope you enjoy it. And don't forget to hit the thumbs and subscribe for more videos. And Wisnu Kumoro sign out. Bye.